Julianne Kopka. December 24, 1971, in the skies over Peru. 17-year-old Julianne Kopka and her mother Maria boarded Lanza Flight 508 headed for Pucallpa, Peru. The women were headed home to meet Julianne's father, Hans Wilhelm, for Christmas. When they went to book their flight, the only empty seats were through Lanza Airline. Julianne and Maria had been warned against flying with them as they had a bad reputation. In fact, a Lanza plane had crashed the year before, killing 99 of the 100 passengers and crew on board. The women were eager to get home and the flight to Pucallpa was less than an hour. They purchased the tickets, but the plane was delayed seven hours due to bad weather. Flight 508 took off at approximately 11 a.m. and within a half hour, the passengers realized they were in trouble. At an altitude of approximately 10,000 feet in the air, lightning struck and ignited the fuel tank. The plane disintegrated. Julianne, still strapped in her seat, fell approximately two miles to the rainforest below. Her mother was ejected from the seat next to her and Julianne never saw her again. Julian was knocked unconscious but came to as she was free falling. She lost consciousness again before hitting the ground. Julianne woke up the next morning at approximately 9 a.m. She had a broken collarbone and cuts to her arms and legs. Her right eye was swollen completely shut due to burst capillaries caused by the sudden decompression of the airplane. Julianne unbuckled her seatbelt and tried to stand up. Because of her concussion, she blacked out several times, but was finally able to get to her feet. For a year and a half before the crash, Julianne had been homeschooled at her parents' nature reserve in Pucallpa. Both of her parents were zoologists, and her father had taught her survival skills. Julianne began looking for her mother. She couldn't locate her, but she found a creek nearby. Remembering a lesson from her father, she followed the creek to a stream for fresh water. At night, insects attacked her and her wounds became infected. A coin-sized cut in her arm became infested with maggots. On January 2, 1972, Julianne found a small boat. At first, she thought it was a mirage, but she touched it and it felt real. There was fuel in the boat's tank. She siphoned it out and poured it on the wound in her arm to remove the maggots. It was successful in drawing most of them out of her skin. Julian crawled up a small hill and found shelter. It was just a roof with no walls. She tried to sleep under it, but the ground was too hard, so she returned to the water's edge and fell asleep. When she awoke, she heard voices. Some lumber workers had returned to the shelter. They treated her wounds and gave her some food. The next morning, they loaded Julianne into a boat and traveled seven hours to their lumber station. They contacted a local pilot who flew her 15 minutes to the hospital in Pucallpa where she was reunited with her father. Julianne learned that she was the only survivor of the 91 people on board Flight 508. Shortly after the crash, Lanza was shut down. Julianne went to college and studied biology. She specialized in the study of bats and earned her PhD. She married in 1989. Julianne published her autobiography called When I Fell from the Sky in 2011. Please visit www.icantbelieveitsnonfiction.com and don't forget to subscribe.